Hey guys, uh, I'm going to have an update video here on my Walther P22, uh, as well as show you some stuff I got from Walmart, hence the Walmart receipt. Um, but anyway, uh, basically when I first got this gun, went out to shoot it, had some feeding issues, and kind of frustrating, you know, I mean obviously like I said in the first video, when you buy a new gun, you know, it doesn't matter if it's expensive or cheap, uh, you know, you want it to work. So uh, I did a lot of research, talked to a lot of people, a lot of my viewers, you know, you guys, you, you really helped me out, I really appreciate it, you gave me some good links. Uh, to information and um, some suggestions and a lot of P22 owners out there uh, some of them have no problems at all some some of them have uh, tons of problems and there's a lot of different factors at play um, one would be the uh, the magazine um, there were a couple of generation magazines they made some modifications to the uh, feeding lips I think and a whole bunch of different issues um, that they changed over you know the course of uh, you know a couple of years so um, you know it could be the magazine could be the ammunition I was using cheaper ammunition. People said, you know, you got to get some CCIs. Uh, two guys I talked to said they've been running uh, uh, CCI ammo, mini mags, and stingers through their P22 for over five years, and uh, you know, don't have any problems. You know, so it's just maybe you, I need to use the uh, higher velocity ammo. Um, a couple people said there's some good modifications you could do the gun. Uh, I found some really great information, but to be honest, I'm not going to modify the gun. Um, you know, it's just too much of a, a hassle to be honest for me. Um, I don't have the uh, the gunsmithing um, that's kind of needed for some of the more advanced modifications to make the gun pretty much perfect. Um, you know, but the information is good. You know, good to know anyway. Um, so anyway, this is kind of an update video. I haven't shot this yet, but I want to talk about some stuff I got from Walmart, you know, in case you have a Walmart by you and you didn't know about this stuff. But um, also, talk about this stuff that's by the gun. First of all, I just did a, uh, a trade with someone. And by the way, the gun is clear. You can see in there, you know, I got an empty magazine. And nothing in the chamber. But you'll notice that I have a uh, different kind of extension here. Uh, I just did a trade with someone, and they had, after they watched my video, and they said, oh, you know, cool, this guy's got a, a P-22 now. Uh, they actually got rid of their P-22 a long time ago for, for some reason, and they had some extra stuff laying around. And he gave me this um, this uh, replaceable barrel nut, okay, that has the, um, the, the extension and the threads on here. Okay, so right now it just has a thread protector on it. But basically, this allows me to attach any kind of uh, muzzle device I want. If I want to put a suppressor on here, which I would love to get down the road, it's just a hassle and it's expensive. You know, if you don't know, it's a lot of paperwork, it's a lot of time to wait for it. You know, you have to pay a ta you know pretty hefty tax on it, about two hundred dollars, I think. Um, it's kind of a hassle, but you know, I, I do want it eventually, so I can uh, you know plank pretty much anywhere I want, not not be bothered by anyone. But anyway, um, it gives me the option to add some stuff, and he also threw in this uh, this AR-15 uh, suppressor. And that fits on there as well. So I'll show you that real quick here, if I can. So that was pretty cool. I like that. That was really nice. And kind of changes the look of the gun. Um, just in feeling it, holding it, it makes it very uh, muzzle heavy, uh, which is great. It really holds the gun very stable. Okay, so I think that's really going to improve some accuracy when I'm shooting. I'll test it with and without that on there. But I thought that was really cool of them uh, to do. You know, just really nice of them to throw that in. So I want to thank you. You know who you are. Um, but I just want to mention that. So in future videos, if you see either that on the gun or if you just see this uh, little kind of nub sticking out, at least you know what the deal is. And I don't have to answer those questions and, you know, messages and stuff. So that's what that is. Let me show you some of the stuff here I got um, from Walmart. Picked up some ammo. Everyone said, run some CCIs through it. You know, I love CCI ammo, but I hate buying it because 22 ammo is cheap. That's what we all love about 22s is that it's cheap. CCI stingers, CCI mini mags, not cheap. Uh, and actually, you know, my Walmart, I'd like to, you guys to comment below, uh, tell me how your ammo situation is at your Walmarts by you, if you're, you know, you, your Walmart happens to carry ammo. But, um, you know, slim pickings by me, really slim pickings. I actually bought the last of all their CCI stuff they had. Besides, they had some CCI shorts, but I don't have any guns to shoot shorts, so I didn't need those. But I did buy the last four boxes of their uh, Stingers, okay, CCI Stingers, and as well as their last two boxes of Mini Mags. I got one, one pack of um, the regular, uh, you know, round, uh, full metal jacket, as well as a, uh, a box here of their hollow points, okay. So, you know, CCI ammo is expensive. I'm going to give you some prices here real quick and talk about that. Um, trying to think what else I want to say. Oh, another thing. 
I didn't know that there was a limit on ammo at Walmart. I bought all this stuff. Then I kind of walked around the store. Then I was thinking, you know what? I want to get some cheap stuff too. I want to get their bulk, you know, Remington 550 packs. You know, those big, big, massive packs of uh, 22s. And I went back there, and the guy behind the counter was like, oh, sorry, you know, you're done for today. And I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, you know, you got six, uh, six boxes of ammo. You, you, that's your limit. You can only buy six boxes of ammo uh, a day. And I, I really, I had no idea that there was a limit on ammunition like that. Um, you know, I was kind of like flustered by it because I, I was kind of upset, to be honest, because I wanted to pick up some cheap ammo. And Walmart's at least 40 minutes away from me where I live, and it's not, it's not around the block. So I, while I was there, I wanted to pick it up. But uh, then I was kind of thinking, well, maybe that's good so people don't buy up all the ammo. They can kind of save it for other people. You know, it would stink if one guy every day walked in and bought all the ammo, and then you, you keep trying to get your stuff and you can't get it. So I kind of understand why they have the limit, but at the same time, I don't like it. So I don't know. It's Catch-22. But anyway, let me give you some prices here. CCI Stingers were uh, five forty-seven a box. Let me know down below where, you know, how much they are by you, if that's good, bad. You know, I haven't bought Stingers in a long time. I mean, I bought them when I first got my little Bobcat, um, but that was it. I never used the mini mags before. So anyway, let me know if that's a good price or not. Five forty-seven a box. Got four of those. Um, and then uh, both uh, mini mag boxes. And by the way, these are 50 round boxes. I mean, six bucks for 50 rounds of 22. I mean, these are probably one of the best 22 ammo you can buy. But still, I mean, it, it kills me because I know I can get uh, get 22 so much cheaper. But the uh, the mini mags, these are uh, boxes of 100 rounds. Okay, and these are 647. So a little bit of a better deal. But um, you know, the only real difference is that the Stingers are uh, they're higher velocity. Let's see, the Stingers are 1,640 feet per second. Mini Mags are 1,260, so it is a hyper-velocity uh, round. Um, and that's supposed to give you the, the best uh, reliability as far as, uh, you know, feeding and stuff like that. Not necessarily feeding, but because it's higher veloc uh, velocity, uh, the slide's going to whip back faster and, and hopefully, I don't know, do some magic on the gun and make it more reliable. We'll see. I'll do some testing, obviously. And the Mini Mags here... Uh, a little bit of a better deal, like I said, you get twice as much for another dollar fifty or so. So, anyway, let's see. I have 200, 250, 400 rounds. So 400 rounds for. Uh, well, I got some other stuff here. I got two things of rem oil. Rem oil is great. You know, if you have a Walmart by you and they have a hunting section, which I guess they all do, uh, pick some of this stuff up. It's good for your knives, your guns, whatever, uh, and it's super cheap. These were a dollar ninety-seven each. Got two of them. And, of course, uh, Hops Number 9 solvent, which I have never used before, um, but everyone loves it. So I figured I'd pick some up. And this was two ninety seven a bottle. So some pretty cheap stuff. All together, everything here cost me forty four twenty four. So, um, you know, like I said, it kills me to pay that much for twenty two ammo. But, you know, it's some of the best, and I wanted to try it and do a reliability test with uh, this ammo and the gun. So I will have uh, future videos shooting this gun uh, as well. So now you guys know. So that's it. Just want to do a little update here for you on the P22 and some Walmart stuff. Uh, love my Walmart. You know, what other store can you go in, get some ammo, get a big old steak, some underwear? You know, I don't know any other store like it. So even though I despise it, I love it at the same time. It's a love hate relationship. So there it is. <laughs> um, that's all, guys. Just want to do an update on that. Expect plenty, plenty of videos on the P22. Um, it's obviously just the cheapest to shoot. It's a lot of fun. I'm still working on getting a uh, um, the laser cover. You know, if you guys saw the first video, uh, it did come with the uh, the stock laser, but the the battery cover is missing. I called Smith and Wesson, who do, who do uh, you know distribute these in America. It's even marked on here, Smith and Wesson. And someone let me know this is made in Germany. It's not made by Smith and Wesson. They just you know import them and, and sell them here. But um, they do handle the warranty department and all that. And they said it's going to be free. The piece is free. It's covered under warranty. They just don't have one in stock, so I have to keep calling back and checking to see when they get it. So eventually I'll have that. But that's it. That's my update. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you again for all the help and all the other P22 owners that uh, you know, gave me some great information and pointed me in the right direction to uh, find out my problems. I really appreciate it. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. <laughs> Take care, guys.